of Eagle River. Good morning, class. Today's field trip is about the environment. Please welcome our special guest, Eco Rilla. Eco Rilla. Hello there. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you about something that every living thing needs to live: clean water. If we use too much water today, there won't be enough in the future. I don't get it. I just turn on the faucet, and I get all the water I need. That may be true for you now, but it may not be forever if we don't take steps to conserve as much water as we can. What's conserve mean? Conserve means use less. Every bit of water you save helps. How do we do that? Here are a few things you can do now to save water and the environment. One, when you brush your teeth. Turn off the faucet after you wet your toothbrush. Then only turn it back on when you rinse. In the two minutes you take to brush your teeth, turning off the faucet saves up to 30 liters of water. Two, take quick showers instead of baths or long showers. Cutting your shower time down by one minute saves about nine liters of water. Taking a quick shower also saves about 100 liters of water over taking a bath. Three, don't buy bottled water. Purified filtered tap water is more environmentally friendly and tastes better, and you won't send toxic plastic bottles to the trash dump. But we have big lakes here. That water won't dry up. That may be true now, but more and more people around the country and the world will need that water because they don't have clean water of their own. We take it for granted, but over one billion people around the world don't have easy access to fresh, clean water. They'll need to get it from somewhere, and that somewhere could be our big lakes. Ecorilla, we have an emergency. Let's go. Kids, I have to go now. But if all of you do those three little things, it will help make sure that there will be plenty of water for the future. Bye. Bye, Ecorilla. There is a report of water and energy waste in progress. We are en route. 